Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it might look a little different. I'm trying a new filming location and hopefully this will work out a little better. I know the lighting's crap right now. Um, it's really gloomy and rainy here today. But anyway, I thought I would do a new stuff video. I got a few things. I um, got some stuff from Ulta. I got some stuff from Lush, some random drugstore stuff. So yeah, I'm really anxious to get started using these products. So I thought I would do a haul for you today. Um, you might notice in the background that it is black. I'm sure it does take away from some of the lighting, but I am now filming in my kitchen, and if you saw back there, it would be like, you know, boring kitchen, like, table and stuff. So, we're going to try this display and see how that works out for now. Alright, let's get started. I'm going to start with stuff at the drugstore. I went to Walgreens and picked up some of the new <clears throat> Wet n Wild items. They did not have, I went to two different Walgreens and neither one of them had those highlights, the, the, the really new highlights that they have. I, I want one so bad. But they did have um, some other items. So let's off, start off first with their foundation. This is the foundation that I'm wearing today. This is the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Foundation, and I'm in Buff Bisque, which is a light, medium, neutral. I'm really glad that they put the descriptions. You probably can't see it because of the glare, but it says light, medium, neutral, under like undertone. I'm really glad they put this on there, so it makes uh, picking out foundations at the drugstore easier because if you know you're, you know, you're un like you're under coloring and stuff, you can just read it here and not have to guess. But, um, yeah, this is the foundation I'm using today. It's kind of a thinner consistency, but medium to full finish. It has a little spatula. Looks like that. I have it on today over the uh, Professional Primer by Benefit. I've used it three different times, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. For a 5 or $6 foundation, this is pretty good for a drugstore um, if they have your color. I know they have darker ranges online, so if you're... You know, don't see it in the store, check online. But yeah, this, it's okay. It says it's tested under seven light conditions with top smartphone models with and without flash. So, I don't know. It's okay. It's supposed to not give flashback. But, yeah. So, there's that. Um, also picked up this. This is the Mega Cushion Highlight Illuminator. And it has... Like you know, we'll screw up. When you open it, it has like this little black sponge. I plan probably not to use that, but when you open it, it has like the little bouncy cushion. Um, I do not have this one today, but I have previously worn it. See that highlight right there? It's kind of hard to see. It it does. You know, I will have to mess around with this lighting a little bit, but it does have. It's like a pink shimmer the color is called who's that pearl which is kind of right it is a pearl finish <clears throat> pink pinky light pink pearl finish so yeah that's that was it it does i i recommend getting it i've used it once and i like the time that i have it i don't have any other cushion type highlight products so definitely new for me and the other two wet and wild products that i picked up are these um liquid cat suit matte lipsticks. I have this one. This is in the color Rebel Rose. That's pretty true to color there. And this is the name if you're looking. Oh, come on, focus. No focus. Okay, fine. And this is the other color. I am wearing it on my lips today. This is in um, Berry Recognize. <laughs> so that's that color. They are just liquid matte lipsticks. They have a really neat doe foot applicator that has like a, a slant, if you can see that. Looks like that. So um, I'll swatch it on my hand. This is the berry one here. And the Rebel Rose, is that what it's called? The Rebel Rose is there. And actually, Rebel Rose reminds me of what of the Kat Von D um, Love Sick. Same pinky tone, less pink. This is the Kat Von D on the top. 
if you're wondering. This had a little bit more brown. But as far as finish goes, I did prep my lips with the Ulta Lip Primer that I've had. Just like a white balm. And I do, they are kind of drying. When you press your lips together, they are kind of tacky together. But, well, I mean, it's not bad. It's not hor I don't. I don't feel like I have to run and put chapstick on that they're killing me. But, I mean, it is a little dry. But, yeah, the pigmentation's great. I think it looks pretty good. So, I would recommend those. The other thing that I picked up at the drugstore, I don't have the outer packaging, I'm sorry. But this is the Butter Bronzer. I'm sure all of you have seen it by Physician's Formula. I have been wanting this bronzer forever. It does have a crazy coconut smell so if you're not fond of coconut you know maybe this isn't for you i can get over the smell and it works as a pretty good bronzer i'm wearing it today no lighting i will work on it promise okay so that was the butter bronzer and the next thing i went to ulta all right so at ulta they had on clearance this set i was actually going to ulta to get a new sponge. I was going to try the Real Techniques, but then I saw this. Um, this kit from Ulta is the Comple Complexion Perfection Kit that comes with two splending spon sponges and a matte face makeup setting spray. I have seen Emily Noel talk about this gift set on on her holiday things, and it's now on clearance for $6.97, which is cheaper than the Real Techniques sponge, and you get two sponges, so I thought I would try these out really excited to try them out i have used the ulta sponges i've used these orange ones and they work pretty good um that's what i use to blend out or sponge my, my makeup under eye today so yeah i picked up that i also picked up a new blush brush from real techniques this is not a new brush but new to me i've uh, been reading reviews about this brush and i needed a new blush brush so i picked that one up also, some kind of boring things from Ulta. I picked up two liter pumps. Look at that overexposure of lighting. Um, these, you know, just go on the big liter shampoos. Like if you pick up a liter shampoo from like Marshalls or Ross and you want a pump to go with it, these should fit. Mine, I bought some bedhead um, liters on Black Friday from Ulta and I didn't realize they didn't come with the pump. So these are for those. I think that these were $3. If you're wondering. All right, the final thing I got from Ulta, I think. Hold on, let me check. Pumps, brush. Is this makeup removing towel set? I've been really interested in the um, makeup eraser towel that's been going around. It's just like a strange microfiber towel. And then I saw this set in Ulta. And they just say, makeup removing towels, no cleanser needed. So, I'm going to pop one of these open. So, it's just like a really, oh my gosh, so fuzzy. I cannot wait to wash my face with this. So, it's just a really super plush, fuzzy towel that apparently you just, um, says, machine wash before first use, saturate cloth in warm water, rub cloth over the face and eyes in circular motions, re-soaking as often as needed, thoroughly rinse cloth and hang to dry. So, yeah. I think when I use this, I will use makeup remover to get, you know, mascara and jazz off and then just try it all over the face. But, oh my goodness, these are very, very soft. And you get two for, I want to say two for ten bucks. And I had uh, points and stuff. So, I mean, I think all of this cost me like $17, but I had a bunch of points. So, yeah. Um, a few things that I picked up off of Nordstrom before Christmas, but I haven't had a chance to show you. Um, I have, you will see in my next video, I was painting, um, my IT Cosmetics CC Cream. So, I needed another tinted product, tinted moisturizing product. So, I picked up the Moisture Surge CC Cream by Clinique. And I have been using this. I've used it maybe, maybe three times. And this is what the bottle looks like. It's very shiny. So, this light over here is going to be a pain in the butt. But I got the color Light Medium. And it... And it just comes out in like a squeezy tube. I do like this product. I like the scent. I like the overall uh, correction of it. It's not very heavy. It's a little less coverage than the CC cream, but not much. It's a pretty good 
Alternative, if you're tired of trying that and you want to try something new, I would recommend this. Moisture Surge CC Cream. It's a hydrating color corrector. And it does have SPF 30, if you're wondering. And I got that at Nordstrom's. So I think it was like, I don't remember the price. I want to say like 30 something, 34 maybe. I'm not sure. And the other product I got was a concealer. This is the All About Eyes Concealer from Clinique. And I have used this twice. It's just a really creamy concealer that has like a pointy tip. And you know, squeeze out. Um, this is good for your under eyes because it's very hydrating. If you have dry under eyes, I tend to be more dry in the winter, so that's why I picked this one up. This one is an 01 light neutral. All right, guys, that was it for makeup products. I do have a couple more things to share with you. I also went to Lush. And if you guys know, Lush is having their Christmas sales. Um, they're probably, this is the 2nd of January when I'm filming this, so a lot of stores have been cleared out. But I just wanted, I picked up some um, some of their normal stock items, and I wanted to share those real quick with you in case you're interested in purchasing some normal items. Sorry about the bag, I'm getting ready to move it. There we go. Um, the first thing that I picked up that um, I wanted, I've had this shampoo before. This is called the Big Sea Salt Shampoo. This stuff is great. It has like, if you have fine hair, see these little bits right here? That's salt, like pieces of coarse salt. And, sorry, it just looks like that. You take some in your fingers and wash your hair with it. Your, the salt pretty much um, exfoliates the scalp and adds volume. It says, bring your tresses back to life with bodybuilding sea salt shampoo for incredible volume softness and major oomph for your hair. And I do agree, this stuff is great for giving volume, great for all those things it mentioned, actually, for fine hair, needing some volume. So I picked that up. This is on the pricier side for Lush. Sorry, I'll get that in a second. That salt scrub's in the way. Um, I think this was $27 for the tub, and the tub is 11.4 ounces. But you can get this all year round. I haven't had this in about five years, so I'm really happy to have it back in my life. The other product that I bought was Roots Hair Treatment. This is a hair treatment for fine, thin hair. You basically spread this white cream. It smells like mint on your hair and scalp. And you leave it on uh, for five to ten minutes and shampoo out. The stuff makes your hair feel so light and fluffy and just very fresh and new. I, I really like this stuff. So if you have fine thin hair or you're having scalp problems, try Roots. This is also, I want to say, 27-ish dollars, and this is 7.9 ounces. Okay, I did buy a gift set from Lush, the Christmas ones. When you buy one, you get, you know, one free right now. I'm not going to show the Christmas set, but it did come with two everyday items. The first one is Yuzu and, Co and Coco. This is a shower cream by Lush. It says it's Coco and Tonka meet Yuzu for a delectable chocolate orange scented lather. And this stuff smells great. It smells fruity and creamy. Mmm, smells so yummy. And it's like a creamy shower gel, basically. So, yeah, this is um, also sold year-round if you're interested in this product. Yuzu and Coco. It smells really, really good. And the last product that I have here is a shower jelly. And if you've never seen a shower jelly from Lush, it basically looks like jello that you wash your body with. <laughs> this is Woosh shower jelly. Um, it says, wash with Woosh for renewed focus when tired, jet lagged, or studying for exams. It has a very uh, grapefruit, citrusy type lemon scent to it. So um, it's good to keep these in the refrigerator. I cut mine up into like little chunks. Like little cubes and bring them you know with me into the shower and just use a cube per shower but yeah this stuff is great for a wake me up in the morning all right that's it guys for new stuff um the next video i'll be posting will be my 12 pans of christmas that i'm obviously late on getting up um if you have any questions or want to know more about any of these items that i showed today go ahead and leave them below if you liked watching this video and you'd want to see more, go ahead and click subscribe and you'll be set to go for that next video that I upload. Until then, guys, you have a great day and be safe.